to another episode of Table, Table Talk, Talk in, in the, the garden. garden. I have my husband Floyd with me today, you guys, as we get ready to eat our first watermelon from the garden. We are really excited slash nervous because I harvested this watermelon prematurely. So I'm hoping that it's technically ready, but you know, in today's video, we're gonna find out. And my husband is also going to plant, uh, replant a pineapple top that we have been growing indoors. And we're gonna share with you guys how you can restart a new pineapple plant. If this is something you're interested in watching, stay tuned. So first you guys, we are going to pot up this pineapple top. We're gonna to place it into this three inch pot right here. Um, and then we will get to the watermelon, you guys. So make sure you stick around to see if we have a good watermelon. So, so watermelon or, uh, yeah, it just never developed into anything. I feel like it developed into something, but it's just, I just hope we have some red watermelon inside you guys. That's, that's my concern. That's what I'm nervous about. So what you think, babe? You think we'll have a good one? I think we'll be fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so I have my little display right here with the watermelon, some zinnia flowers, some ice cubes down here, you guys. Of course, it's going to melt throughout the video, but it is what it is. Now, my husband is going to teach you guys how to start at the pineapple top indoors, what he did, and then the next steps to, you know, grow uh, a whole new pineapple plant, you guys. Okay, so once I typically cut the pineapple, uh, mm -hmm. I, I make sure I cut the top off. So you guys know that when you have pineapples, um, this is always at the top. And so what he did was he sliced it very thinly from the fruit and the top. And this is what was remaining. And so now he can explain what he did um, after he cut the top off. Yeah, so I put it in the water, basically like a shallow dish. Yeah, shallow that way dish. it can uh, develop the, the roots right. system uh, for the plant. Right. And because sure. he's meaning is so that these bottom leaves won't rot, you guys. You don't you don't want that. So that's the reason why he placed it into a shallow dish so that it it's it could just focus on developing the roots. So uh what I like to do now is kinda of peel some of the, the leaves off. Uh that way we know it could get deep in the root uh in the soil okay. and continue to develop the root system for it and have a good support system. So while he does that, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get his um, potting mix ready. So I have like this little uh, watering can that I purchased from, I think it was from Walmart. It was like for a dollar. Um, and I thought that this was really cute to water my seedlings with. And then, you know, of course, to mix the water with the seedling starting mix. So um, this is really convenient, especially when you are watering your seedlings you know you don't have to worry about that big watering can with all that water shooting out so it's you can it's controllable i would say so right now i'm just adding some seedling mix into this pot i'm going to go ahead and pre-moisten this potting mix i think it should be enough but i don't know we'll see okay so this is what the potting mix looks like I'm gonna add water to it, like so. Measure it out as you go, and then you just stir it up. It's kind of like baking a cake. Yeah, you know, a, a brownies. Brownies, yeah. <laughs> yeah, brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Making some brownies. Yeah, but I'm just mixing it up. So is this to kind of take out the air pockets and? Yeah, and you know, I feel like I made a mistake last time. You know, I was being impatient, and some of the seedlings that I started it was a different seedling starting mix i did not add water to the seedling starting starting mix and when it came down to watering the seedlings i always water my seedlings from the bottom of the tray and allow the water to soak up from there the ones that i did not go through the process of doing this like adding water to the seedling mix um it was very difficult to water it like even from the top like it's just it it would not penetrate down into the seedling starting mix so i was like okay next time i need to make sure that i add water to the seedling mix so they can go ahead and adjust to it having water yeah and i think that's good because you you always say it's kind of like a growing process a learning process right so you continue to develop and it's gonna be always perfect and right you try hard learn from your 
didn't do right the last time. So right, right. It's a good process to have. And, right. And, I'm and move we're this. all, even though she, she's not technically a beginner anymore, she still <laughs> learns. Yeah, I'm still learning though, and but I still feel like I'm, I'm like, what you want to call it? Uh, You're still a, a novice, I guess. I don't know, but I, I feel like I'm still learning, you know. So, yeah. I, and I feel like that's okay. Like I'm okay, and I, I am comfortable to say that I'm still learning. Like even although I make videos on YouTube, I never give information that I have not either experienced on my end or that I have, you know, obtained information from like um, a garden mentor or some information that I have researched and that I have also tried out in my garden so you know i aspire to inspire just the fact that i'm inspiring other people to not to give up on their garden and also to try new things you know it's a beautiful feeling and just to inspire you know people from my photos or my garden that i'm growing like it's a beautiful feeling so i mean it is it is work you know but you know once you have everything settled out in your garden as you can see in the background you know i always have to have my garden as a background um it's just a beautiful feeling like when the sun starts to go down you come outside and just enjoy your garden and then when it's harvesting time of course that's always enjoyable so yeah. and people can see the passion and your your desire to help people so that's right. also a great thing too. thanks babe all right you guys so i'm going to start placing this in here i think i'm gonna need some more let's move this away if we don't want yeah to that's what we're gonna cut the watermelon up with a little cutting board all right let's see so what i'm doing right now you guys is just placing this uh seedling starting mix into this pot i may need a little bit more i'm, I'm almost i'm almost getting now you guys like like my measurements <laughs> so I should i have a, it above slightly uh kind of like um let's put a little bit more in there because you want probably kind of right because the, the roots are shallow right now you get what i'm saying so if they had I mean, you could still, so what we're going to do is we're going to place it like smack down in the middle right there. Okay. But you want, you want enough soil to support it. So they won't be, you know, wobbling around See? until it develops more roots. So let's add some more. Yeah. Let me see what it looks like so far. Okay. So let me bring it over here. Cause they can see it on this end a little bit more. All right, you guys. So we are placing the yeah. pineapple in there. I think a couple more. You think some more? No. So I have filled up this pot. I'm going to put a little bit more. We are going to just make a hole in the middle of this pot and make it pretty deep so that these roots can start to develop um, into this pot. Push the roots down in here. So that's why we wanted to add enough soil in there so that it wouldn't wobble around you guys. So. Um, but we're going to just try to keep it in one place so they can start to develop those roots and uh, Yeah, go from there. Okay, so my husband is going to add some more water in there To kind of like that helps secure it a little bit more when you add water So we showed you guys how you can make another plant a pineapple plant out of the pineapple top All you have to do is make sure you slice off the top of the pineapple place it into some water so that the roots can develop some, like some small roots can develop and then you can pot it up into, like I said, that's just a three inch pot. And then from there, if you want to repot it up into a bigger pot, you can do that also before you decide to place it down into the ground, you guys. So when we get to the step of placing it into the ground, we will definitely uh, record that process for you guys so that you guys can know if you're curious, if you want to grow pineapples, how to grow one. All right, you guys, so it's time to cut into this watermelon, this mini love watermelon. So I'm gonna give my husband the honors of cutting up the watermelon because I suck at cutting like thick things, cabbage and yeah. But, oh, wait, okay, wait. <laughs> oh, goodness. Does she got anything in there? I see some red. Oh, don't do me like that. Oh! Oh my goodness. Now it's not as red. Like I said, I think it, if I would have gave it another month, I think it would have been good. But it smells like watermelon. It smells like watermelon. It <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm excited, okay? So, uh, my, we forgot a spoon, a fork. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is what the watermelon looks like. 
I'm, I'm super excited. We have some watermelon in here. I was nervous that the watermelon was going to just look like this outer layer. I'm not sure what that's called. Um, but I mean, it still had, you know, a couple more ways to go, but we're going to dig in. Um, I also wanted to make the announcement that I have turned Lala's Crops into Lala's Crops Inc, you guys. So yes, I have made Lala's Crops into a company. So I do have big plans for my company. I do eventually want to start selling seeds, some good quality seeds uh, for everyone. So um, I'm gonna start testing things out now, experimenting so that I can make sure when that time does come that I am selling good quality seeds, you guys. So. So we're gonna just save these seeds right here. Exper oh, <laughs> my husband read it, honey. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm still trying to collect my seeds. You gotta but... hydrate in Florida. So. <laughs> so of course, you guys, you know that watermelons are good summer snack. Everyone, well, usually everyone loves watermelons. It, you know, some people may not like watermelons. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But uh, over here, we're gonna enjoy our watermelon. That. We grew in the garden, in the back, on that trellis right there. This is where this little mini love grew. So <laughs> I'm really excited. All right, so we're gonna dig in. Let me get my, I'm using a fork. So that's how I eat my watermelons. Oh my gosh. This is a legit a watermelon, you guys. All right. So one, taste cam. One, two, we're gonna feed each other? No. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. <laughs> I mean, she could have been sweeter, but, but you guys, given the situation where I harvested this prematurely, I'm satisfied, you guys. I am. Before this video, I placed it into the refrigerator so that it could be cold. It's quite refreshing. Mm -hmm. um. It got juice, you guys. I have juice. So that means I've been watering this, um, the plants good. Yeah. Mm. That's good. have quite a few seeds in here too so but like I said you guys for our first watermelon I am really satisfied um, expect, like I said especially given the situation where I accidentally cut the stem and I was worried that we would not have any watermelon in here but we do so like I said I have another mini love growing at the moment and I started two more plants and then we also have sugar baby varieties growing. So I think that that variety may be a little sweeter than the mini love, but. Mm. So it's still, like I said before, it was it's still refreshing. Um, <clears throat> this would be a good, good for hydration, especially during the spring mm -hmm. and summer time in, in Florida. That's what it looks like, you guys. So it's, it's. You know, you wasn't far off. Uh, they, they come off a little premature, but uh, overall, it's still good. It's still yeah. edible. It's not. I feel like you know when you go to the store and you try to pick out a watermelon, and it's not like the perfect, perfect watermelon you was hoping for. This is what we have right now. I love it. Okay, because I grew it, and and at the end of the day, it was it was free. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this juice, guys. It's a lot of juice in here. A lot of juice. Oh, it's fine. It's just the typical watermelon that you know may not be as sweet in the grocery store. So that's how that's how I would describe it. But it's still juicy, refreshing. Yeah. It's just a. It's it's all about the experience, though, you guys. You know, like I wasn't looking for it to be perfect or like the sweetest uh, watermelon that I have ever grown. I wasn't looking for that. I just wanted to. Have, like I just wanted to be able to say that I, I grew I grew watermelon like a watermelon as long as it was just one I was I just wanted to be able to say that I grew a watermelon and we were able to harvest you know a watermelon and you know just see how it would taste like I wanted to see how an organic watermelon would taste you guys so um it's, it's a beautiful feeling to know that you know no chemicals were used I grew this naturally, you guys, so. I'm proud of my wife and the work she, she did uh, with this process. Uh, she was real excited showing me <laughs> on a daily basis almost the progress. And once they started forming. Yeah. 
was just saying. I said, babe, come look at the watermelon. It was, she, was like a, she was like a kid in the candy store. like. <laughs> but it's good to see the excitement in her and the time, the, uh, just the passion that she has in her, her, what she does in the garden and how she can see that, um, how she sees stuff developing and mature. Mm -hmm. So It really is a beautiful um, time to experience, you know, how things grow, vegetables, fruits, whatever you're growing, you know? I made a video where I explained what type of fertilizer I was giving my watermelon seedlings. So I made sure that I always try to provide a great base of nutrients for my seedlings so that they can have a great start, you guys. So so if you are curious to see that, that video, I will provide a link for that video. It will pop up in the upper right hand corner of this video. Um, so yeah, you guys, I made sure that I gave this my seedlings a great foundation of nutrients and it took off from there i made sure that i cared for it um i mentioned in one of my previous videos how i used a row cover to place over the seedlings so that it could you know have time to adjust to its new location um also adjust to uh, produce it into a healthy plant um so that you know it could be resistant towards certain pests so i think I, I think i did a pretty good job i wanted to make sure that i took my time with growing the watermelons and i was blessed to you know even though it was my fault that i you know harvested this baby this mini love watermelon prematurely but the lord really blessed us um uh, to really have a healthy watermelon in return still so I think I, I always thank the Lord. I always pray over my garden, you guys, and you know I, I really thank the Lord that you know we were able to um, have this experience today. So, uh, so yeah, you guys, we are going to finish our watermelon. The sun is going down, so we are going to finish our watermelons off screen. <laughs> uh, but we hope we, you guys enjoyed today's video, showing you how we uh, repotted up this pineapple top so that it will eventually produce into a new plant and how we cut into our first mini love watermelon and we also showed you guys the results and we are satisfied i know i am now i think my husband will like he's i think my husband really is really excited about the sugar babies the sugar baby watermelons yeah i think they might be a little bit sweeter yeah they may be a little sweeter but i'm still satisfied with this you guys so yeah and then keep a lookout because she's planning on growing some more guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah i want some more <laughs> I want more, I'm more, about more. This season, so I yeah. think she has some ready for for summertime. No, yeah, babe, I got some more growing over there. I have two plants over there. Well, I think I, I need you to attend. Put I, some seeds. Start some seeds. You mm -hmm. said you started some seeds. No, I didn't start <clears> no seeds <throat> indoors yet. Um, I yeah, started two more. I started. I put two more plants out there, but I think I need to attend to those a little bit more. Um, I I didn't really give it the same foundation as I did with uh, this uh, round. Um, so I think I need to go back in and apply some more Trifecta Plus because um, I ran out of my Trifecta Plus. So I had to use a different type of fertilizer. Uh, I really don't want to rely on that. So I'm going to order some more Trifecta Plus and um, give the seedlings uh, some more nutrients so that they can really take off and produce. But, you know, everything is trial and error. You know, I learned from my mistakes my success and just try to do better next time so we hope you enjoyed today's video um and we will see you guys in our next either table talk in the garden or growing with lala's crops so thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys in our next video as always happy gardening peace, peace.